looked to the right of me, I didn't see anything. I looked to the left of me, though. I seen TK Breezy, We Twerk Trainer, this guy, and one other dude playing <laughs> double Wii Fit Trainer. I was like, oh, thanks. I hate it. Yeah. I said, I've seen too much Wii Fit Trainer. Man, I, I haven't seen enough. This character is goofy in all the right ways. Especially in the sort of way that uh, the character turns around stage control just on its head as a resource. Uh -huh. It's the one character that gets harder to deal with when you corner her successfully because she can just start lobbing volleyballs or soccer balls rather right over the lip of the stage and just harass you with nothing behind her. Yeah, it's but really, I will really say annoying. though that some of the Wii Fit trainers, uh, some of the top ones, is uh, more specifically uh, talking about um, John Numbers. You know, he has yeah. a very fixed opinion about Wii Fit Trainer right now. Obviously, him being one of the best, if not the best, back in Smash 4. He feels like he's not really into the whole idea of Wii Fit Trainer having to be a little bit more aggressive just because of how the mechanics work in Smash Ultimate. He was looking yeah. for more of the calm, cool, collected, more of the offstage, reserved play style that Wii Fit brought to the, uh, the table. So, uh, obviously, he's I think he's playing a little bit more inkling, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, here in Smash I Ultimate. Po I think he's playing Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Trainer is what it is. Yeah. That's right, Pokemon Trainer. But... Whatever the case may be, man, we have another high level we fit here, so I'm just excited nonetheless. We're getting some character diversity now. T switching off from Big Link, moving over here into uh into Young this Link. wannabe. I'm gonna call Young Link a yeah. wannabe. Hey, you know, he's he's really grows into the legend, all right? He, he becomes yeah. the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, no, I, I got you, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. But yes, man, we're definitely gonna be in for a treat here. <laughs> all right, but Varun right now. In, oh, I was going to say having the slightest lead, but the amount of damage that he's able to put on with Young Link the moment he finds an opening is so much that Varun can never really be comfortable. Okay. Being caught on the ledge, Varun that's trying to put pressure on, and that's one thing to keep your eye on with Wii Fit Trainer is when it comes to out of shield, back air is amazing, oh! super strong, super fast, and can kill just about anybody, but Wii Fit Trainer doesn't have good options in front of her, so you always want to pressure her face. That's right. Her tilt has some pretty interesting properties, too. There's that back air immediately. Yeah. Good stuff right there. I'm only 115%. And it's really easy to feel smothered versus Young Link, despite uh, him being a quote-unquote zoner. Like, he has the uh, uh, he has the, uh, the, the bow and arrow. Then, of course, he has, like, the uh, the boomerang, obviously, that gives himself some uh, some options for combos. But for the most yeah. part, though, you really have to watch him, man. And he's, he's able to, like, stagger, you know, with the uh, flame arrows one into another one. But Varun right now kind of running away with it, almost lapping T in percent. Okay. That's in the medicine bar, head. keeps him at bay. Deep breathing online, deep breathing. Imagine if Shulk had a diet version of every Monado on at the same time. I don't want to. Yeah. I literally don't, because that's, that's what, the stuff of nightmares. That's what deep breathing is for Refit Trainer. It is terrifying. It reduces the, the knockback she takes, and she also deals more damage and more knockback, and gets faster. Thinking about Shulk having that gives me sleep paralysis. Like, I can feel <laughs> it coming tonight. Like, I literally won't be able to move. Okay. Well, luckily, Reefer Trainer can help you with that. That's true. She can help me stretch out my limbs, man. That's good. All right, man. But regardless, man, right now, my man T certainly in the deficit does find an opening there for the dash tech. But every time he knocks Weefit out up into the corner, if he doesn't get the immediate follow up, you can expect a deep breathing right into a heel. Oh! Okay, up air pressure up underneath. Good parry. He's disengaging, not going for anything risky, recognizing at this point dash attack's almost gonna kill. Oh, I love the edge guard right there. Just going ahead and doing a slow falling down air to cover the ledge. The uh, hula hoop recovery really restricting Wii Fit Trainer's movement, but the catch is when you kill Wii Fit Trainer, she's able to just instantly get deep breathing because she's invincible. You can't yeah. stop it. Yeah, so man. then she's in that super mode for a solid 10 seconds. And you gotta run. You really do have to run. And I think that puts the only kind of fish out of water situation because, I mean, obviously, you know, this character does have some running capabilities, as you see right here, being able to use that good footwork to find access to a tether, or sometimes just retreating all the all together and using things like boomerang and, and bow and arrow. But you don't yeah. want to keep that play style in hand too much because we've been trying to certainly looking for that good stuff staying ever so slightly out of the razor for that up special. Obviously, yeah. up special grounded uh, converts into things like up air. And I know that we've been obviously not wanting to deal with any of that. Got ourselves deep breathing again, though, Rod. This is where things get scary, especially on the ledge. How does T escape? He actually just rolls out of the situation entirely. Damn, we've been trading pretty fast on foot. What the heck? Yeah, pretty good for running. a chick with no shoes. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Not slowing down a bit on his own end either. Try to keep the ledge completely covered. The boomerang doing a good job bouncing back these header serves. Oh, right you're back. dead. Beautiful use of the hero spin there. But once again, we have deep breathing and just an F tilt to cover three out of four options. I'm telling you, man, that damn tilt that uh, that Wii Fit has is so good. Yeah.
You know, she might not be he, she, you know, whatever version of Wii Fit Training you play, that character might not have, not by might not be the best, excuse me, all the way across the board. But what that character can do is what that character certainly excels at. And we've certainly seen that come out there. Being able to play the long game off stage every time, being able to know which combos work when and when they don't work up close and personal certainly made all the difference there. But right yeah. now we have the switch from Young Link back over to Big Link. So obviously trading some mobility for some raw strength. And that's not to say Young Link is lacking in the strength area, but certainly uh, Big Link certainly has some beat. Yeah, and that's gonna be a payoff here, just how long Varun is living. And more importantly, it's gonna make it harder for Varun to kill with these back airs out of shields, which is how he's been getting so much mileage during the higher percents. Uh-huh. And he's also, we, we can't neglect to mention, he's choosing Final Destination as his counterfeit. He just wants to get that full stage control, control everything with his arrows and boomerang. That's and right. And also just cover like the legs, the, the remote detonation bomb as well. My boy Big Link, do we, what, what do we call, do we call Big Link Bink? Is that what we call him? So we got Mink, Link, Tink. And do we call Big Link Big or we just call him Link? How does that we work? Can, we can call him Link. I, I think it should be Link because he's the oldest, but we okay. can also call him Bink because he's from Breath of the Wild. Bink. Okay, let's do it. Bink for Breath of the Wild. <laughs> let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Bink. Okay, nice. And see, what I really appreciate about T is that instead of Z dropping the bomb at the ledge, he's throwing it down, which is a bit of a mix-up because the opponent will come off the ledge not knowing that, oh, wait, he threw this. I could actually be hit by this as an active hitbox. Um, oh! Okay, there's the forward tilt. Good stuff. And that's the other good thing that Link has over Young Link, right? Young Link has that Kokiri sword, which is basically just a dagger, whereas the Master Sword is actually going to be able to outrange so many of Wifa Trainer's options. Her limbs basically act like swords in this game. You have to really respect her in the melee. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, looking for oh, a stage fight. Gets, gets the stage it. Fight. You're dead. You're actually dead. This looks like T's game here, ladies and gentlemen, to try to bring this thing back. Wow, and sometimes something as simplistic as a character switch from one iteration of Link to another is all it takes here. That's why being the master of all links is paying out so much for T. Run caught on the ledge, caught with two stock deficit against uh, against T, and not really a plan in terms of how to close it out either. Have him put it hiding in shield with his back to uh, T, and just hoping to catch him with a back air at a shield. Wow, look at this Nair too, covering the ledge options, man. Neutral get him too, which is something that a lot of Wii Fits are going to go for. Damn. Okay, going pretty deep right there, but I don't blame him, man. The stakes are high. 131%, you know that Link has a pretty abusable recovery out there. Put the feet on him, okay? Ooh, back here, keep away from the bomb. There's the dash attack. Medicine ball online. Oh, he's getting sliced right now. T is, is going ham. This is looking real tough for this fitness trainer. Yeah, Varun's just kind of closing the gap now. It looks like he's hoping to find some sort of kill and beautiful coverage with the bot remote bomb by T. Play of everything Varun has. Kind of showing off that his remote bomb is a better soccer ball. Uh-huh. All right, now here it is. Gets to salute the sun. Setting up shop here, 109% is looking something very reminiscent out of Smash 4. Even regardless <laughs> if you have the lead or if you have the deficit, you need to stay at the legend stage and force a character like Link to come to you. Oh, 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 oh! I didn't even know the ball said we fit on it. Look at the <laughs> Easter eggs. Oh man, the, the branding that this franchise has. But yeah, the first hit of that forward air just sending the soccer ball away, and the second one doing the same to Varun himself. Just kind of turning it up way high for Varun to deal with. Because the, the set, the game rather, against Young Link, like, that was still pretty close, right? It wasn't like Varun was wop mopping the floor with T, but like T just utterly controlled that next game. Yes, I think what the difference was is that Link is a much stronger iteration of Link. Obviously, yeah. at, at, when you're looking at higher percents, obviously you have to fear Big Link. When you see Big Link has rage, you have to fear him. And things like Forward Air now changed within itself and is now a good combo starter uh, coming out of like Fastball Fair as well too. So you let Link in, he has some better options up close and personal. Not a lot of confirmed combos, but because Link has so many weird mix-ups, you might feel like they're confirmed. So this in mind, I'm really liking the adjustments here. We're starting to see Wii Fit play a little bit more off stage, trying to force Link to come to him. Like that though, I mean, he's not taking the bait either. He's staying firm and on the ground, using the board to poke off stage and catching Varun when he's trying to sneak back on and cross him up and force uh, T into the corner instead. Uh huh. Oh, what's oh. the grab? Dash grab, obviously pretty laggy. Not as laggy as a uh, tether grab from Smash 4, but laggy nonetheless. Okay. You know, stuffing out his own salute the sun there. Yeah. Gotta watch your sun salutations there, sir. This is a scary thing, like you talk about saluting the stun, but uh, Don't Link gets to make his own stun with that bomb, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. 
Oh, no, actually, air dodging off stage. This could be dangerous. Holds on, tries to cover the ledge roll. Doesn't find anything off of it, though. Forward air. Oh, my. Talk about directionally placed air dodges. Good stuff right there, but still find himself getting grabbed. I'd much prefer to get grabbed as opposed to eating that forward air. That was some nice stuff. Varun doing a better Forget. job of finding oh. opportunities to pull off the deep breathing. And I think that was one of the things about the FD game that didn't do him any favors. It's hard to build space on FD. So Varun hmm. never had time to get deep breathing going except at the beginning of a stock. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I was going to be uh, running and out uh, sun salutation. But because T stood, uh, he took a little bit more time to get off the ledge. He let him off the hook here. But regardless, the forward tilt keeping him off stage has to burn the nair right there, man. It hit the medicine ball back to him. Now he has the bomb in hand. Is he going to Z drop it or toss it down? Smart stuff. Was... Going for the Z drop, and he had him shook. Yeah, that's exactly what he needed to just put Varun at a spot so low that he couldn't come back to the stage to begin with. Beautiful edge guard by T. A solid job now also just kiting Varun in terms of uh, catching his landing with all of these juggles. And that's so gutsy to do because Varun is in deep breathing. That's when he's at his most terrifying. But that's just, uh -huh. just how confident he is right now, how much momentum he's riding. And he knows that because Nair covers a lot of options off the ledge of stage, he doesn't mind the offstage game here with Weefit. He has to lead. Weefit has to approach. So if you don't get off stage the right way, I'm going to hit you with short hop Nair. But wow, the up here closing out my man T's stock here. I like this. Keeping this thing neck and neck. You cannot allow a player like T's caliber to really try to extend the lead on you. Keep it close if, if you can. Calling out his shield options with the back air. Okay, here it is. Short hop Nair boomerang. Finds the opening, and I think that got extended because of the medicine ball. So, what the hell? So what he's noticed is that at some distances, when Varun goes for the, the header with the soccer yeah. ball, he just puts up and forward airs because he has the full confidence that his forward air will beat both the soccer ball and then connect with Varun himself. That's right. He's doing these on reaction. Okay. Back hit of, uh, of Nair off the platform. Oh, T's getting pretty aggressive right here, man. Now hold on. Now cool your jets. You do have the lead. You can't oh. get too aggressive here on Wii Fit, though. She knows how to slow this game down. Here we go, though. The bomb detonation just dealing with the stomp attempt by Varun. Varun caught at the roll distance. T just scoops him right up, tosses him back off stage. Yet another forward air for his troubles. This is looking like T's thing. Oh, 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 oh he's nasty. Hero oh. Spin. T pops off out of his seat. And honestly, Varun looks super overjoyed to see him land that and shook his hand with a big smile as well. Oh, I my. I love it. God, he's an oh my God, T. What a okay. way to turn it around. Now I know why he dresses so damn nice, man. This man means business. Oh yes, oh yes. God dang. You know what you the don't, heck? You don't cross the pond unless you're 